What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Tony DeLamry. Thanks for tuning in to a brand new episode of Brother Please Hear Me Out. Now, first thing is first, make sure you do me the biggest favor and make sure you share this episode with your family, friends, and relatives. This episode is very, very important. And also make sure you follow me on Twitter at TD Hip Hop Media. Now, if you have not listened to episode one and episode two, I strongly suggest you go back and listen to episode one and episode two before listening to today's episode because I just don't want to spend time rehashing old materials i don't want you to get lost so with that being said please go back and listen to episode one and work your way up to where we are right now the reason this episode is so important to me is that on today's episode i really want to focus on children i want to focus on the babies if you have children between the ages of 4 and 14 years old this episode is for you if you have nieces and nephews or little brothers and little sisters between the ages of 4 and 14 years old, this episode is for you. And if you have grandchildren between the ages of 4 and 14 years old, once again, this episode is for you. Because I've come across this institution by the name of Engineering for Kids. That's what it's called. They have multiple locations scattered throughout the United States. They have them everywhere. Now, when you go to the website, in the upper right-hand corner, you're going to see find your location. You type in your zip code, and you'll find the nearest institution to you. They have them scattered all across the country. I'm very confident that you can find one that's relatively close to you. Now, what I want to do is go to the How It Works section, and I want to read that off to you just so you get a full understanding of what goes on in engineering for kids, and you will then understand the importance of having your child enrolled in this institution. How it works. Camps, after school programs, and more. At Engineering for Kids, we bring the fun of science, technology, engineering, and math education to kids ages 4 to 14 through exciting camps, after school activities, parties, classes, and more. Our young engineers have the opportunity to design, build, test, and refine their own creations in a safe and fun environment. As a nation with a globally competitive economy, we need for workers, the need for workers that are skilled in science, technology, engineering, and math subjects is increasing every year. Engineering for Kids strives to play a big role in the solution to this problem by teaching children as young as four how fun STEM can be. We offer the kinds of excellent programs for kids that parents look for. Camp programs, after school enrichment, evening and weekend classes, parties, homeschool enrichment classes, in school field trips, clubs and competition groups, scout activities, corporate events. Why engineering for kids? With the growing number of jobs that require 21st century skills and experience in scientific, technological, engineering, or mathematical field, we feel that we feel that it's extremely important to make our young students aware of the opportunities that are available to them. Engineering for Kids sets itself apart by encouraging children to engage with the di- with a diverse curriculum and by integrating the engineering design process into every lesson. We're proud to offer a variety of engineering programs for students such as aerospace engineering, chemical engineering, civil engineering, environmental engineering, electrical engineering, electronic engineering, industrial engineering, marine engineering, mechanical engineering, robotics engineering, and software engineering. By providing young minds the opportunity to develop skills that will follow them through adulthood, we hope to take part in the success of the new generation as well as the future of our economy. Contact Engineering for Kids to learn more about the unique classes and camps that we have to offer. I want to read one more section to you on a different page on this website, and I'm going to start reading it right now. We've created three unique levels for our young engineers to ensure that they receive the most enrichment and personal attention they deserve. Junior Programs specially designed for engineers that are four, five, and six years old, 
these free play and guided activities are packed with fun and creative enrichment. Apprentice programs. These activities follow engineers to design, test, and refine their own creations. They're structured to benefit kids from ages 7 to 11 years old. Master programs. Created only for the best engineers, these team building activities encourages kids to work together to achieve complex goals. Within each program level are several different workshops, camps, and classes for you to enroll your child in. Contact us to learn more about what we're currently offering near you. Once again, in the upper right hand corner of this website, you'll see find your location, type in your zip code, and you'll find a location that's nearest to you. If you have children and you're not taking advantage of this opportunity that I'm presenting to you right now, I really don't know what you're doing at this point in regards to your kids. I've said this multiple times before, and I'm going to keep on saying this over and over and over again. As it pertains to us, those of us that are of age 18 and up, if you are not pursuing higher education, whether it be by way of a bachelor degrees, master degrees, doctorates, or even just a certificate, but any level of higher education, if you're not pursuing that within the field of tech, you are wasting your time. 100% wasting your time. A lot of you in the comment section want to argue me on it. And you want to say, oh, this will never be automated and my job will never be automated. My job, artificial intelligence, will never take that over, whatever. I'm not going to argue with you on it. For all those with an ear, let them hear. You're wasting your time if that's not what you're pursuing. Now, when it comes to your children, if you're not taking advantage of these opportunities that I'm presenting to you right now, you are virtually damning them. You're virtually damning them. Because you got to understand that this new world that we've entered into being ushered in by the fourth industrial revolution, this world belongs to our children. My son is six years old. And all he knows is touch screens, virtual realities, and talking to devices, and they respond back to him as if he's talking to me. This is all he knows. He doesn't know of a world that's, that's different from that. And it's only going to get more technologically advanced. So if we're not preparing these kids now, and we're operating off of the old mindsets that our, our parents raised us with, and we're not preparing them and taking heed and being ob observant as to the change that are happening in this country and in the world, technologically speaking. If we're not paying attention to this stuff and we're operating off of old paradigms and we're not taking advantage of these opportunities that I'm laying out for you, for our children, I really don't know what you're doing at this point. You're damning your children. You really are. You really are are not too long ago last week to be exact i was having a conversation with a good brother by the name of ao Kinsenko. uh some of you might know him from off the big facts podcast and the rap trap he gave me a phone call after my last episode of brother please hear me out and we were having the discussion about that episode and we were specifically speaking on the children and he was telling me how I believe it was he wants to get his oldest daughter involved in, in coding and computer programming and everything of that nature. And we had a good long conversation about that. But one of the things that was discussed in that conversation and the conclusion that we came to is that we are headed down the path. This country right now, the trajectory of it. We're headed down a path of haves and have nots. That's where we're going. I'm not saying it can't change, but the current trajectory is that of have and have nots. There isn't going to be any more middle class. You either got something or you don't. And the conclusion that we came to and the understanding that we had of this current trajectory that we're headed into as a country is that within the next 20 to 30 years, 
and I want you to hear me clearly. If you find yourself falling on the side of the have nots, that's your bad. That's on you. Because at this point, it's obvious. The way of the world, the directions that we're headed into, all the stuff that I read off to you throughout the last two episodes. I mean, even outside of me reading to you, it's all around you. The change is happening all around you. And if you're not making taking the necessary steps as an adult to pivot in the right direction, to fall on the right side of the fourth industrial revolution, that's on you. And especially when it comes to your children, you got them out here in entertainment. You want them to sing and dance and play basketball and football and all this foolishness. Get off of that. Tech is where it's at. Tech is where it's at. And if you're not enrolling them in these kind of programs that I'm listing out to you here, and it doesn't have to be engineering for kids, obviously do your Googles, do your own research and find out what other options are out there. This isn't the only one. But if you're not doing your due diligence to do right by your child to make sure that you're integrating STEM programs into their lives, like I said earlier, you're damning them. And in the next 20 to 30 years, like I stated earlier, If you find yourself to have fallen on the side of the have nots, that's on you and nobody else.